Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali. In this video, we will learn that how to protect the worksheet and a workbook. So let's get start. So I have a one sheet here and it contains some data. So it has almost six columns and we want to protect that so that the other user should not uh, make some changes to this data. Okay. So the first step is entirely select this spreadsheet. Okay and then go to review tab so all the protect related stuff is available in the review tab where you will find a protect group so we start with the protect sheet so i will click on protect sheet and you can also uh, have you can protect all these features as well uh, by default it protect the select locked cells and select unlocked cells the password is basically a case sensitive here and also optional so let me apply one password I will press OK and it will ask me to re-enter the password so I will apply another same password remember that the passwords are case sensitive so now I cannot make any changes and if I make some changes Excel will restrict me that the cell or chart you are trying to change is protect and you want a you need a password to basically unprotect it but the, the point is that the other cells which does not contain a data is also protected and now this time what we want is we want to protect the data but also we want to unprotect the other cells so that a user can write their commentary or comments or any other thing you would like to so how gonna we do that so let me first unprotect this so I can write again now there are three steps for doing that if you want to protect a certain part in the Excel spreadsheet and to remain unlock the other part the first step is to select the entire sheet okay and just right click anywhere and from this contextual menu click on format cells so it will open our dialog window of format cells go to the last tab which is of protection and uncheck locked and press ok now select the data and then right click go to again same option that is format cells and in the protection tab check the lock option and press ok and the last step is go to the protect sheet apply the password re-enter the password and press ok so now this time when a user comes to your data and make certain changes the user will not able to make certain changes but if you want to use some other cells he can use those cells right so this is how we made a certainly protected a certain range and unprotected a certain range right so this was about protecting a sheet but remember that if you have multiple worksheets in, a, in one workbook and you are applying a protection sheet of a feature in the sheet one, sheet two and sheet three will not get protected. So this means that every time we go to one other sheet and then it, it goes protected. Okay. All right. Let's discuss protect workbook. What is protect workbook? So as in a structure uh, in earlier the videos I told you that when you work on Excel you get an Excel workbook and within Excel workbook you have the worksheets so a worksheet has a structure for example if I come right click on sheet 1 at the bottom you can see I can insert a new sheet from here I can delete the existing sheet I can rename the existing sheet even I can move this existing sheet to another place just like I can drag and drop or I can move this sheet to another workbook just like I can click on move and copy and I can uh, say that I want a new workbook and create a copy or what else I can do I can view the code if I have applied any code I can protect the sheet from here as well I can assign a, a color as well for this particular tab I can hide this sheet as well right okay so what if I want to disable all these features for doing that I will go to the review tab protect workbook again the password is optional and also a case sensitive so I will apply a password here it will ask to re-enter the password and now when I come back to this option you right click you can see that now I cannot insert delete rename move and copy or even hide and unhide the existing sheet and it applies on all sheets because we have used the feature of protect the workbook which consists of all the sheets right if I want to unprotect it again I will click on it and apply the pa same correct password and it will enable all options for me again 
Another kind of protection in the Microsoft Excel is available in the file tab, info and here protect workbook and this utility is encrypt with password. So this is a kind of a password when you open the Excel workbook it will ask you to, to give the password then it will open a workbook and remember that if you forget that password it will not recover.